right, well, greetings from Pennsylvania once again. And I'm on another adventure with my friend John. Of course, we watched the previous video we filmed here at the uh, Charles Baber Cemetery here in Pottsville, Pennsylvania, Schuylkill County, turning around with the cool chapel in the back. We're going to head to some other locations here in town. Um, for one thing is the Henry Clay statue, maybe the old Yingling Brewery, and some other cool stuff. We'll see. I'm not sure where all we're going to go, but uh, we're going to stop at the sites. I might do some filming in the vehicle with the dash cam as we drive around town a little bit, give you a taste of uh, an old coal mining town up here in Schuylkill County, Pennsylvania. So we're going to hop in the Jeep and uh, get going, just have a little fun driving around and stopping at some historical sites as well. All right, so we're going to head to the Henry Clay statue first. Neither me or John have been there yet. If we can find it. Oh, there's that figure you got. There's the family dollar. All right, so we're making our way into the middle of nowhere in Pottsville here. This is this is the backwoods of Pottsville. Or let this car go through. I'm not sure what they want to do. So we are getting yeah, there's something up there. So we're getting close to where it is. Okay, I can see it over here. Yeah. Yeah. There's parking right here, so I guess. Your destination is on the left. All right, that's pretty cool. It's gotta find a place to park. I think we'll turn around first, maybe. All right, you guys can't see it, but we can. All right, we'll get back to you. Yeah, so just off this back road here is the Henry Clay statue. And if you know anything about history, that name should sound familiar. Now we're overlooking the town of Pottsville. And up there's the man himself. Oh, I gotta adjust the lighting on that. All right, there you can kind of see him through tree branches and telephone wires. We'll zoom in on him a little bit. There's Henry Clay, overlooking the town of Pottsville. And even this statue hasn't survived the uh, what's going on these days. A little bit of graffiti down there. So Henry Clay was a politician from the state of Kentucky, from the South, and that makes him controversial for certain other reasons. And there has been a movement actually to remove this statue here in Pottsville, but it's still up. But yeah, he, he ran for president three times actually. 18, oh, was it 28, 32, and 1844. Obviously he lost all three times. He never did make it to be president. But you know, what is a southern politician doing here in Pottsville? That's due to the fact that he uh, was uh, important in putting tariffs on iron coming from places like Britain and stuff. And you know, tariffs just raise the prices of imported goods from other countries. And because of that, you know, Americans were forced to get iron from American manufacturers. And then back then, they used coal to make iron, and we're in the middle of coal country here in Pottsville, Schuylkill County, Pennsylvania, so anthracite coal in particular. So those tariffs made the coal mine owners here in Pottsville uh, pretty wealthy, I guess you could say. And so they <laughs> built a, a, a memorial here to Henry Clay. And I think at the time it was the largest uh, monument in the country. So that's why Henry Clay is here in Pottsville. Just one last look at him up there through the telephone, the uh, electric wires here. Yeah, and when you're coming into Pottsville from the south, I think right down there's Route 61, you can look up the hill and you can see the statue. I know I've often in the past wondered what it was. Didn't realize you could actually come up to it here. Let me try and get away from the electrical wires there. All right. 
So right down there was our statue, and John noticed that up in the woods up here is a cool structure. I wasn't planning on visiting that, didn't even know that was up here, so maybe we'll try and find, see if there's a way up there. Or maybe John, maybe John has plans for me. You can actually drive up there. Anyway. Can you drive up there? All right, change of plans, we're gonna drive up there. If it's something we can check out. I don't that you saw that. Not sure if we're private or not up there. Well, that place was a bust. <laughs> it ended up being some kind of a, what, it looked like a school or something? Well, maybe? I don't know what or it some was. Some kind of private place, so we're not gonna film up there. So I think we're gonna try and get to the uh, Schuylkill County Prison. And we're gonna drop, drop John off there. Yeah. No, it's, it's a really neat uh, structure. It almost looks like a castle. It's got some uh, history there as well. Not the brightest history, but it's interesting nonetheless. So we're going to get a, find our way through these crazy streets here. Try and find that place. Yeah, check out that building up on the hill there. Don't know what that is offhand, but... Schuylkill County Prison. I think it's near the prison. Yeah, Laurel Boulevard. This is where the prison's around here somewhere. Go this way. It, it's it's definitely up. Take a left up here then. Uh, Maybe. Yeah. So the prison is just right up here. I think we'll drive by it first and maybe find a place Turn to park. Onto and it's an active prison today. It just looks really awesome. Yeah, you can see it right up in front of the camera up there. It looks like a castle. Well, another big building we drove by. What do you say? It was City Hall or something? Uh, it's the county courthouse. All right. And Pottsville City Hall is down the down. Your destination the is on the right. I don't know if we can. Park. Right on Molly McGuire actually. Yeah, that's what, I was, that's what I wanted to talk about was the Molly Maguires. We could park on there maybe, huh? Uh, jury parking. So here is a view of the Schuylkill County Prison. It does indeed look like a castle. It's just a facade though. There's some cool stone work on the side. And this, I believe this was the site of the largest mass hanging here in Pennsylvania, I think six of the Molly Maguires were uh, dispatched at this location. If you're familiar with the coal mining history here in Pennsylvania, Molly Maguires will sound familiar. Of course, a lot of the coal miners that came to Pennsylvania were from Ireland, and the Molly Maguires was an Irish group. Um, Wikipedia calls them a uh, Irish uh, activist group, but they were you know, working in coal mines is difficult, and there was not many laws, safety laws back then. A lot of accidents happened, and they worked long hours. Things were difficult, so uh, they were kind of like a secret society that was dedicated to helping, helping the Irish immigrants. Of course, a lot of bad things happened with that, with them, and there's a lot of controversy about that, depending on which side you're on. Because you know, there was a group of detectives called the was it the Pinkerton detectives that were sent into the coal mine areas to try and root these Molly McGuire's out. And of course, some of them were captured. Um, some of the men were probably innocent that were um, hanged at this location. But anyway, sometimes, like I said, it depends on which side of the argument you're on. But it's an interesting, interesting location. And it's an interesting history. That whole history of the Molly McGuire's is quite embedded in this area. Um, the actor, uh, Sean Connery, was they made a movie about the Molly McGuire's. I think it might even be called that. All right, so I'm gonna hop back in the Jeep. John is already there waiting. He stayed in the Jeep because we're kind of in a, kind of feels like a sketchy area around here, but we're gonna drive around a little bit more. I'm not sure what else we're gonna see. We actually might get something to eat a little bit later tonight. All right, so the new title of this video is Lost in Pottsville. <laughs> well, I'm not sure. Thank God lost. it's not in winter because otherwise we'd yeah, be these... sliding the whole way down the mountain. These hills, I'm, I'm not sure what, I think we're in the north end of town. There's a cat up there. Cat licking certain things. <laughs> but these streets are nuts. You got some views up here though, if you live up here. 
Yeah, I think we're gonna try and get to some. There's another monument here in town. We're gonna try and get to. To get right back to the main street. You can see like the angle of the streets out here. Not exactly sure where we are. <laughs> Alright, well we are back in the main part of town, so... Uh, there's a historical society. Oh, yeah. Actually, I think that's one, one of the monuments are up here that we... Yeah. Because I think we came up this way. We'll find out. Yeah, this part of town looks a lot nicer than where we were earlier. No offense to Pottsville residents. <laughs> All right, so we are now in the middle of Pottsville, and John found this on the maps. In fact, I think we drove past this on the way in. They got some uh, Civil War monuments here. So we're gonna stop and check this out for a little bit before we head out and get something to eat. Right in the middle of town, there's a cool church back there too. Architecture. Is this the one you were talking about? No, there's one of them. This is Spanish American. Oh, Spanish American War. Yeah. 1898 1902. Philippine Islands. Look how they spell Puerto Rico. Yeah. If you want something really cool, Yeah, some, some dude just gave us directions for maybe another place we'll stop at. We'll see. Cannons. Yeah, sorry, it's a loud spot here in the middle of town. So they do have some plaques here. This one's kind of interesting. Oh, let's try to zoom in on it. In memory of the first defenders and Nicholas Biddle of Pottsville, first man to shed blood in the Civil War, April 18th, 1861. Not sure if you could read that on the camera. But over here, the sculptor, try and zoom in on it, Zeller. Of course, if you know anything about me, that should be familiar. <laughs> All right, pretty cool. Got some other things on here. Gettysburg. Emancipation. Fort Sumter. And I think the other one over here is Appomattox. All right, pretty interesting, actually. It's a pretty cool location, actually, right in the middle of Pottsville. To think, you know, all the people that drive by here all the time, and probably hardly anybody ever stops to check it out, read the, what's on these monuments anymore. They're just kind of here. All right, but I think we're gonna head out again. I'm not sure, we might check out that place. That one guy told us there's something cool to see at a certain locations, some old tombstones. All right. Or we may get lost again, we'll see. We are taking advice, that one guy that stopped said there's some, I think we said some tombstones or something. We got headstones. Headstones. Some. Nice turn signal, pal. So we'll check it out. Like we're actually heading up out of town a little bit. 300. Oh, it's right here. Oh, right here. Whoa. Oh. oh, God. Looks like an old church here. Okay. 
Yeah, there's an old oh, graveyard. So there's an old graveyard back here. All right, we'll check it out. Yeah, so we just pulled in here. <laughs> and right here is, there's an old church here, it looks like. So, guy said there was something back here. Some old headstones. I think he said Civil War. I'm not sure. Oh, there's a little... Okay, I'm not sure what's going on here. There's some graves right here. One has a flag on it. Okay, so this right here is actually pretty sad. I'm not sure what's going on here. I mean, these, this whole area looks like it's... See where John's walking? The whole area is like... Sunk down in. Looks like there's some more up there. Let's see what this is first. I believe this is a Civil War veteran. Yeah, Grand Army of the Republic. That's kind of a shame. The whole thing's collapsing. Looks like Charles is his name. Wow. I'm thinking this whole hillside here is just sinking down. Whoops, I almost tripped on a... Because you can see a few more little just tombstones here. They're just rocks. There's more over here. See, John said there's something pretty cool up here. Well, check this. What's this one? Oh, this looks like Spanish-American War here. United States Navy, Cuba, Puerto Rico, Samuel Thompson. Oh. Yeah, interesting. James Fisher, U.S. Colored Infantry. Yeah. Don't see it too often. American Civil War. Quite a few of them here, actually. John Jones. Is there like a musician or something there? Where? On the John Jones. Oh yeah, I missed that. It does say he was a musician. We got a World War, World War One here. Herman. NT. Another Civil War. That's just quite, quite, it's loaded with Civil War veterans here. But look, even this ground, look how it's all kind of lumpy and stuff. Yeah, one, two. Another one back there, it's getting dark. A couple of, Sp there's several other Spanish American ones too. Yeah, it's a Spanish-American war. I think it's the most Spanish-American wars I've seen in one. Yeah, that's another one right yeah. there. There's a, there's a circular one up there, too. I don't know what that one is. Here's another one. It's just a field stone. Another one. Is that Spanish-American? No, it's uh, colored. Oh, colored infantry. Yeah. William Tarr. Colored infantry. No, U.S. colored troops, it says. Oh, this is, I'm this is World War I. 88 years yeah, old. 1919. That one, yeah, World War I. That looks old, though. That's... Yeah, so definitely worth a visit. Stop and check this place out. Yeah, but that guy, when we were at that other monument, that guy started talking to us, and at first, we were a little bit like, he's like, oh, you guys want to see something interesting? I forget what he said. He's like, <laughs> Yeah, we're kind of like, uh, okay, what? Definition of interesting. Yeah, what, what, what'd you say? Yeah, yeah, he's like, what'd you say? I said it depends on what your definition of infant. Yeah, it was like, I was kind of like, I don't know, I just like, I'll let John talk to him. But then he started talking about, you know, uh, some old headstones and stuff. I was like, oh, well, maybe, maybe he's not so creepy. And he's probably pretty war, cool. Which most of them in here are Civil War. Yeah, it's, 
rest is Grant, or uh, the rest is uh, Spanish American. Spanish American, and then there's like one or two World War One vets. It's some really unique. One yeah, yeah, the two uh, colored troops. Which is that's not something you see. It's not all the time, no. That's, you know, because it's that's they made extraordinary uh, sacrifices. I mean, you think about the history in the Civil War that yeah. African Americans made just to find two of those headstones. In one, is, in one cemetery. In one here. cemetery is pretty awesome. Yeah, this is, might be the as far as concentration goes. This is the most yeah. Civil War vets I've seen. Like just in one spot here, I think. Same with the Spanish American War. I think I've seen like several at one cemetery, but this one has like three of them. Don't see those too often. Those types of memorials. Right, yeah, it's a little bit quieter section of town as well compared to where we were. I'll try to walk around the front to get the name of this church, I think, too. So this is the name of the church. The Bethel, which is the African Methodist Episcopal Church. Yeah. So that might explain why you have some of the colored troops in the back. It's just a front view here. And this is on 9th and Laurel Street here in Potts, Pottsville. Almost said Pottstown. All right, it's starting to rain a little bit. And uh, we're getting kind of hungry, so... I think we're going to say goodbye to Pottsville for today. All right, so that's going to be it for this video. You can say bye to John back there. I and mean, it's fun having him come along in these. Did I just say that? That it's fun having you along? It's okay to tell a few lies. <laughs> yeah, he's, like he said I can lie sometimes. But yeah, it's, it was a fun day. And it's okay to listen to strangers sometimes. Like we did listen to that one guy. Found this cool place. We would never have known this was here if he hadn't said something to us. But anyway, if you like this kind of video where me and John drive around to some of these towns and just check out some of the stuff, you can let me know down below. I, I enjoy doing this, so but if you guys enjoy it, I'll, we'll keep doing some of these. Because like I said before, he his work schedule has changed, so he we can do more stuff like this. Um, it's, it's pretty fun. All right, we're going to go get something to eat. Buddy's Log Cabin down near Pine Grove. Yes. That's one of the best places to eat. So, smoked sausage. All right, thanks for coming along, and uh, we'll see you around.